Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1661. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, jump on over to thewilddog.com and check out all the full-length videos that we house there. I've been playing along, playing around with a lot of odd objects recently. The Indian clubs, you guys seem to bounce out a couple times, and you'll see more of them and more basics as I learn those. And also maces. Maces have been something that I've been working with a bunch uh, as well, and they're a great way to challenge stability and get some workout activity in as well. I'm going to show you a very simple and easy exercise that will do both of those. Challenge yourself uh, in a couple of different planes of motion and at the same time be doing uh, a typical exercise variation of a squat, right? So um, when we think about taking a mace, this is a relatively light one, 10 pounds right here. Um, we can do simple shoulder flexion exercises like this, right, where we are working with a, a, basically a, a frontal raise, right, a shoulder front, uh, frontal shoulder raise, right. So if I'm in this position, stuff like that, um, I can turn this into a mace cross body squat, right. So what that means is rather than coming up straight into that frontal raise position, I'm going to put the mace with control on my opposite shoulder. So I'm going to bring the mace up, put it in my opposite shoulder, right? From right there in that position, I'm gonna go ahead and squat. And I bring it back down, I'm gonna turn this into a movement that's a little bit more rhythmic. So it's not heavy, 10 pounds, right? Don't necessarily have to do this um, as, just, as just a workout, right? But we can do this as a way to warm up uh, for those workouts. Obviously, the lower that you hold, on that mace or the higher up on the handle, the harder it's gonna to be to swing that and control it onto your shoulder, right? You can, you can actually start to switch this up like I was just about to do, I didn't say it though. You can actually switch this up as when you put it on that opposite shoulder and squat, you can grab with that ipsy lateral hand, bring it down, come back up, squat, grab ipsy lateral hand, come on down, Contralateral shoulder, ipsilateral hand, and squat, right? Or you could just do the same thing. You could do it on the same shoulder, just continue to go back and forth, right? Or continue to stay on that contralateral shoulder. So you have a couple different variations, but they're great whether you're challenging uh, yourself as a, as a stabilization or just some different variations to your torso loading. Um, great way to do it. So uh, cross, body, mace, squat. Guys, questions, comments, post it below. Otherwise, we're here each and every day. Optimizing function to optimize performance.